Now, in some prayer places, Durga Devi is celebrated and prayed. Some places, Ganpati is celebrated and prayed. Some places, only Durga Ma, along with her lioness, that is her Savari, you know, means of transportation. The lion is means of transportation for Durga Ma. So, um, she is celebrated solely. But if you go towards Bengal side during Durga Puja, so the, at that time, Ma Durga is not um, solely standing. She is surrounded by her children. Her children, like you will see Ma Durga in the center. On one side, there will be Saraswati Mata. On another side, there will be Lakshmi. One side there will be Ganpati and the other side there will be Kartik. So when Durga Puja is celebrated by Bengalis, this combination of the family of Durga Ma is taken. But when Durga Puja is celebrated or Navratri is celebrated, when Durga Puja is also uh, Navratri for other people. Uh, Bengalis they call it Durga Puja and they celebrate only five days. Uh, from you know, the 6th day to the 10th day but the Gujaratis, the North Indians and may some of the South Indians they celebrate it as in the form of Navratri so when we call it as Navratri it is 9 days of celebration so 9 days of celebration when they celebrate they keep Durga Ma's their Murti separate and alone they don't keep anyone else along with her. But when Bengalis celebrate Durga Puja, they have Durga Ma's all children. And the concept is different. Now, in Navratri, they have um, victory of uh, good over evil. And in Bengalis Durga Puja, it is that the daughter, that is Durga Ma, she along with her children is visiting her parents house so the type of celebration in both the places is extremely different in uh, gujaratis and the north indians during the navratri they'll pray to the durga puja and uh, durga ma and they will fast they will fast those no nine days and they will dance garbha they will dance um this uh, dandiya so dancing is another integral part of hinduism and it is a method of prayer I means they pray it's a form of prayer it's not any it's very disciplined dance and it is very systematic dance and they have to dance for during those nine days it is a form of prayer it is celebration and during those nine days and in uh, hinduism you are wearing always all nice colorful clothings and dresses and everything because that is how you celebrate your festivals. So you will find during that times um, the ladies, the girls, even the men wearing all joyful colors, red, vibrant, yellow, purple, blue, green, um, magenta, name it, red, crimson red in bottle green or potion blue turquoise blue so many colors so much of variation vibration backless dresses and everything with nice long ghagras cholis and um, you know, um, dupattas you'll find uh, saris find them so joyful so colorful but um, they will have you know they will uh, eat vegetarian one time a day or fruits only and they will fast whereas if you go towards east and that is Kolkata and even um, you know Assam and other places where they celebrate Durga Puja so during Durga Puja the traditional for one day at least they will wear um, white sari with red border but not always and in Durga Puja, during Durga Puja, they have something called Pushpanjali. So Pushpanjali, is, there is a timing for Pushpanjali. During that time, they will go, they will pray. Till that time, they fast. They don't eat anything, uh, preferably. They don't even drink water, some of them. 
the till the pushpanjali is over so once the pushpanjali is over after that they will break their fast using the uh, prasad that they get after uh, giving the pushpanjali and they are immediately after that they can eat anything whatever is required because it is a uh, time of being very joyful it's a time for being very happy it is celebration and all so you'll find the bengalis they will cook the best of the fishes at that time all prawn and elish and uh, you will find rahu and you will find katla every one of them then there will be kosha mangsho kosha mangsho means um, mutton which is dried in uh, dry cooked and in lots of nice spices and everything kosha mangsho with luchi luchi is a form of puri and but it is little different puri it is not the puri that north indians or um, uh, other people may uh, it is uh, puri where you know you'll have little bit of um, wheat flour along with uh, maida again maida is also extracted from wheat only but it is the finer form and uh, there'll be a lot of some ghee and everything put in that and it melts in the mouth you know so they'll have one combination of uh, kosha mangsho with uh, luchi that is that is um, one of the dishes that they'll have they'll have chicken also and they'll have different forms of chicken and all this non-veg will be outside the durga puja pandal means within the premises only you have durga puja pandal inside which you are doing the prayer and besides it you'll have all the stalls selling or everything and at home also people will make you know chingri mach and bhape fish and so many things that uh, chingri macher bhape you will have ilish macher bhape then you will have uh, patori uh, patori fish patori fish is like you know the fish it is wrapped in coconut um, uh, this uh, not coconut banana leaves this uh, it um, fish is um, they are marinated nicely with uh, masala then they are wrapped in the banana leaves and then they are steamed in that uh, banana leaf in that is and they will sell that patori or you even at home people make that patori then you will have potol and you will have so much paish and so many varieties and so many varieties of delicious food so if anybody really want to know what is bengali food no they must definitely attend durga puja during durga puja you will get hundreds and thousands of variety of veg non veg um dishes and made cooked in different different forms it is not that you just cook in a pan or cook in a kadai no you will have it in so many forms so many forms so uh, and during durga puja again you will find different forms of dance there is uh, dhaki dance dhaki dance is all that one dhak is there you know you dhak is a form of drum only so they'll have dhaki dance they'll have dhunuchi dance dhunuchi dances and these are the dances they have to do it's a form of prayer it's not like dance 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 no it's it is a form of prayer they'll do this dance in front of the devi mata durga devi mata and without this dance the puja is not complete in fact if you observe the puja even the pandit pandit has to do the puja in different with different different things um aarti with different different things there is that ritual and during that ritual they will be you know dancing and praying it is form the dance is very very integral part of uh, hinduism so dhunuchi dance what they do is they take some one earthen pot and they'll put some fire and let the smoke come out of it and with the smoke they will dance in front of the devi ma so it it's very important for them without dhunuchi dance and without the dhaki the durga puja is incomplete you cannot say the puja got completed without the dance and this music of dhunuchi and um, dhaki and everything so this is one way of this and for dancing and praying because it is integral part so uh, in maharashtra you'll find they pray a lot to all different kinds of god and goddesses but ganpati is the major uh, 
a festival over here ganpati is celebrated for almost 10 days it starts from ganesh chaturthi and it ends on anant chaturdashi so when during ganesh chaturthi they will bring the ganpati idol at home and also they have sarvajanik ganpati sarvajanik means it is public sarvajanik sarv means everybody's so it is public uh, this thing so you will find small small tents and pandals and everything where um, sometimes very big pandals in mumbai that lal bag ka raja pandal is extremely famous in uh, pune dagdu teli pandal of ganpati is extremely famous like that with many many famous famous ganpati pandals and uh, even uh, the societies and all they will make one common uh ganpati pandal and they will bring ganpati and they'll put and along with that even inside the house they will be keeping the um, uh, ganpati idol and they will pray for the ganpati and when they bring the ganpati also you will find with full you know you can say the enthusiasm the josh and with full vigor and with full um happiness and full prayer and that vibrant energy and so energetic they'll bring the ganpati home or for the pandals they will bring when they put in the pandal there are normally you no know, two ganpatis one will be the huge big ganpati so that everybody public and all are able to see but it is difficult to pray um, such a big idol so similar type of one small idol they'll bring and they'll keep down so uh, the big idol they will do the washing and praying and um, um, you know putting flowers around it and everything once in a day but the small ganpati which will be kept besides it they will pray that every day they will do whatever rituals is required every day for the next 10 days 